What is up YouTube? This is Mikey B coming at you today. I have a deck profile today. This is my sexy gladiator beast. I got it. And um, I'll be doing a deck profile for you today. Um, I'm going to be doing my deck profile on Chaos Dragons, the deck that I run in all my locals. Um, I don't have an extra deck because I don't really believe in the extra deck. I don't really like it. I don't like the XYZs and Tinkers and stuff. I like old school Yu-Gi-Oh where you never use extra decks, but, um, this is the deck. Of course, you get your three light pulsars. Boss monster of the deck, 2500 beat stick. Um, can be special summoned by removing a light in the dark from the graveyard, or a light in the dark by sending him from your hand. And then when he leaves play, you can special summon a level 5 or higher dark dragon from the graveyard back to the field. Um, he's just broken, because where he can be special summoned from the hand or by banishing two light and darks from the grave. Next, two dark flare. I don't run more. I don't run one. I don't run three. Two is fine. Um, I like him. Chaos monster. Banish the light and the dark. Effect. Send a dragon from your hand to the graveyard and then search your deck for a dragon. And then banish a card and need to play a graveyard. I like sending like a light or dark dragon to the graveyard. And then grab your Eclipse Wyvern, send it to the graveyard, which gets its effect to put either Dark Arm or Red Eyes, remove. And then use Dark Flare to banish the Eclipse Wyvern to bring the Dark Arm or uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal to your hand. Next, Dark Arm, self explanatory. Three Darks, special summon them for free. And for every Dark you remove, you can banish a card or destroy a card. Next, it wouldn't be a deck without Red Azarnus Metal Dragon. Remove a dragon, special summon him, and then once per turn, you can special summon a dragon from the graveyard or hand. That's pretty much your dragon boss monsters. Next, we're going to go into one BLS. It wouldn't be uh, Chaos Dragons without the BLS. Gold Series 4, if you wanted to see. Um, and then, of course, your one Chaos Sorcerer. Broken. And then I run. One Gores, pretty much a hand trap. I don't have Trags. If I had Trags, I'd be running two Trags as well. But I don't have any Trags. I'm working on getting the Trags. But I won't have them until probably the end of the month. Next, we're going to go into our Milliners. Double Ryko. I don't run three. I don't like three. I like two. I think it's stable with two. Double Ryko destroys a monster when flipped. Then you mill three cards. Double Lila. Switch to defense mode. Blow up a smaller trap card. And then it sends three cards to the top of your deck to your graveyard. Then, of course, double card trooper, which is for the milling. Those are your millers for your searchers. I run one Eclipse Riven. There is no need for two or three. I only need one. Because I like one. One sand gain. And then for troll cards, I want runs. I run one spirit reaper. I don't need any more than that. Honest, because you run a lot of lights. And then I notice people running two, but I like Thunder King, so I run three Thunder Kings, just because the card's broken. It stops glad. Anything to do with bringing cards from hand, pod duality. Then you can negate any special summon. So that's the monsters for spells run double foolish I mean what is it forbidden lance broken card you can make your boss monsters immune to spawn traps or you can decrease their big monster by 800 double MST you don't need any more than that heavy and then your tech cards monster reborn or your stables monster reborn dark hole I like card destruction because um where they banned what is that card they banned it. Um, future Fusion. Card Destruction kind of makes up for it because you send your entire hand to the graveyard if you have a lot of light and darks. Send them to the graveyard. And it just fills the grave for you. And then, of course, one Charge of Light Brigade and one Solar Recharge. Don't need any more than that. 
I hate running two. Dead card. I like running one. I only have four light swarms. So, for traps, double fiendish chain, boss card. Probably one of the most boss trap cards in the entire format. Bottomless trap hole, another one of the boss cards. Double warning and Solomon judgment. And then for the side deck, this is my side deck choices. A card that I don't even see people using, Double Karma Cut. This card is broken as hell. Discard a card, which it allows you to discard a card. Pretty much fuels your Chaos Engine. And then you remove a monster on the field. And if there's any monsters with the same name in the graveyard, you remove them as well. This is the shiz against Dark World. They like to send their... Graph is the graveyard. Oh, I remove your Grepha and then remove all copies of it that are in the graveyard from the game. It's just boss. One debunk. I'm actually working on getting two more for the trade. It stops hand trap, stops DD Crow, Effect Veiler, Battle Fader, um, so Scarecrow. It stops all the hand traps. People need to be running three of these. I'm working on getting two more. Heroes Rule number two. I actually ran this back in the old days. Um, pretty much indicates any spell, trap, or monster effect that targets the graveyard. I love it. It was only a rare. We're we'll working on two more of those. Triple DD Crow. I don't see many people running this either. Again, awesome against cards that go with the graveyard. Um, especially if you're going against another Chaos Dragon deck. This is awesome for the mirror match. Wrecks your opponent like hell. Double Nitwit Outwit. I like it because it's another discard engine to discard for your life for your Chaos engine. Plus, you discard one of your big monsters. Because what it is, you discard a card, and then you discard a monster. And then an enemy monster on the field loses attack points equal to the monster you discarded. So you discard a Light Pulsar, that monster lost 2,600 attack points. Plus, it's a discard engine. I like the card. People don't even use it. I think it's a great card. Book of Moon, because I didn't have room for the main deck. Phoenix Wing, because I don't have a compulsory. Plus it's a discard engine. Third Lila, just in case I need a third one in the deck. Um, Liberty at last. I've actually gotten this off against like uh, players that like to fucking for players that try to OTK. This is an awesome card. And then double poisonous wind because where harpies are going to be coming back, and I and I play like a lot of wind decks in my locals. That card just breaks the hell out of wind. But again. YouTube, that's my Chaos Dragon deck, and I hope you guys enjoy. Please um, rate and subscribe to my channel. I have a contest going on right now for 70 subs. Once I hit 70 subs, I will randomly choose one of my subscribers, and they will win a brand new. Well, it's not brand new because I've used the card and stuff, but it's a fully ready, tournament ready Gemini deck with the extra deck. So, yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, please check that out. I'm going to try and get a link to that video. And I'm also going to be doing an update video on that. But, um, for anybody who wants to watch it, and um, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And also leave some comments on, um, on the deck, what I should change, what I should add, if I should run an extra deck. You guys might change my mind, alright? But this is Mikey B saying peace out guys and you guys have a great day.